Well, thank you. John, thanks for those words. I'm Steve Daines. I represent the state of Montana. I imagine there's a few hunters and fishermen out there. I'll tell you what, out in Montana, we love to hunt, we love to fish, or we like to mine coal. Now, out in Montana, we want the government to leave us alone, allow us to have our way of life. We don't want this president dictating his way of life on the people of Montana and the coal mines of this country. In fact, we say out in Montana, the two biggest lies you'll sometimes hear is when somebody from Washington, D.C. shows up in Montana. The first biggest lie is when they say, we're from D.C. and we're here to help. The second biggest lie is being kind, gracious Montanans. We say back, we're glad you're here. Now, as we look at the EPA, in fact, I see this sign here. It says, burn coal, not jobs. It is so true. In fact, we've got some coal miners out in Montana who think the EPA must stand for the Employment Prevention Agency, because that's what they're doing right now. They're cutting jobs. Now, why is this important? I'll tell you why. As John mentioned, Montana has the largest recoverable coal deposits of any state in the country. It is a big deal in Montana because it's a big deal for America. This means good paying jobs. It means low cost energy. In fact, 51%, the majority of our electricity in Montana comes from coal. Many of you have children. What's the number one thing they look for when they run around is for a charging station for their mobile device, right? You know, we ought to put signs up across all the airports in this country that on these charging stations that said, this charging station powered by coal. In my home state, it's over a thousand workers. In fact, on the Crow Reservation, we have seven tribal groups in Montana recognized by the federal government. On the Crow Reservation, we have 50% unemployment. We would have 70 to 80% unemployment if it weren't for the coal jobs on the reservation. The Crow people want to develop the coal on their reservation. What's stopping them right now are this president and regulations that are not going to allow the Crow people who were there before any white person showed up in Montana. They want to be able to be empowered to control their destiny and not let Washington, D.C. drown it out. Now, these misguided federal regulations on coal plants do not reflect a realistic balance between environmental progress and economic sustainability. In fact, in my home state, because of these regulations, they just closed the Corette coal-fired power plant. It's going to be $3 million of lost tax revenue to one of our counties, and its 27 good-paying union jobs are going to be let go. The bottom line is this. It's affordable and reliable electricity that makes this country go. Why is it that these other countries are developing right now have got that figured out? They're expanding their coal production. And this country, on the other hand, is doing all it can with this president to fight us. President's, president Obama's war on American energy is a war on American families. It is a war on American jobs. We, we need an all of the above energy policy. I get that. But guess what? That must include coal. That is the fuel that generates more electricity than anything else. Thank you. Thank you for what you do. I'm thrilled to see this turnout today. God bless America and God bless the coal miners of this country.